It feels good that they like the show. It feels bad that I banged my head on the, you know, ladder at the end right there. Nick, how did it feel for that uh, big bump you took at the end from outside of the ring? We were all the way concerned after that. How do you feel? Yeah. <laughs> How's I, uh, it feeling? I, uh, that? Oh. Break a table with your forehead. Um, thank God I have a big forehead. Uh, my, uh... Guardian Angels uh, were watching out after me on this one. Uh, eight months ago, uh, I had a scary fall that looked very similar to yeah, the size. Yeah, and uh, this one, this time I went backwards, and the, the one eight months ago I went frontwards. Let's just say I'm never doing that spot again because I'm. I think we're we're lucky right now that we're. I mean, we're banged up, we're sore, but the fact that we're not injured is a miracle. <laughs> If you go back and watch that match, uh, unbelievable. I'm as soon as we got back, though, every, every wrestler was like, oh my god, are you guys alive? I think that's the That was the craziest ladder match in the history of wrestling. When you say, I think we were going for that. So, <laughs> so. I was going to say that I think that was the most terrified I've ever seen a locker room after a match in my 15 years, my, honestly. My when wife, I got to the back, everyone was just like... And then my yeah, phone blew up. My uh, parents have yeah. seen every match we've ever had in the history of yeah, our career. My wife was like, call your mom now. Call your mom now. <laughs> we had to FaceTime our kids. Yeah, and say, they had a party today at Cali at my house, and they ordered the pay-per-view, and they were all scared to do that. But we're good, I hope. I, think. Well, I have an adrenaline rush right now, so the, the doctors were asking me all these questions. Well, I don't feel anything, so I'm good. Well, <laughs> well let's talk tomorrow. So. Let's talk tomorrow morning <laughs> yeah. when we get out of bed. Yeah. So you don't hook them up with a free stream? They've got to pay for the paper. Oh, I, I hey, paid come for on. it. I paid for it. <laughs> I didn't, Is that my home? I so. didn't pay for the one in my home. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to run a company here. How you do guys, you guys feel about uh, Santana and Ortiz <coughs> a surprise appearance? And are they going to be allowed to be called LAX and AEW? Who, who the hell knows? Um, I don't know. We were, we were as caught off uh, guard as everybody, but, I think, today. I saw, I saw the dead presidents, and I was like, well, they're not, they're not all dead, right? But the goal, like, no, the, goal uh, the goal, for AEW is to have the best tag team yeah. division in the world, and they're one of the best tag teams in the world, so... I'm happy they're here. Yeah, I'm not happy that they beat the hell out of me after I almost died, but uh, <laughs> uh, I am happy that they'll be a part of this division. You said uh, you said to me afterwards, too, that yeah. the powerbomb blockbuster oh field my was, God. was worse than, was the, worse than the la uh, <laughs> so, I was. I could feel my spine um, after it. I don't know about all the legal stuff. I don't know what we, you know, what we could call them. That's, I think that's my, that might be up to them too. I don't know. It's a good question. You guys are about to start a tournament for the AEW Tag Team Titles. Correct. What does that mean moving forward for the AAA Tag Team Titles with AEW? That, that's that's a wrap for this show. That we won't be featuring that title on our shows anymore. Uh, we're going to focus on what matters now, and that's the All Elite Tag Team Champions. Yeah, we don't want to confuse our audience when we get to television and be like. Hey, we have this belt, this belt, and also this other one that's called this. Like, yeah. it, it may be too yeah. much. Yeah. So I think we're gonna we're gonna focus now on on ours. After a match like that, how long does it take until you can like move around without pain? When, when I was younger, twenty four hours. <laughs> uh, now it feels like it takes like, jeez, would you say like a week? Well, I hit my thirties what a month ago, and now it's like God, I feel way more now that I'm in my thirties than I did in my twenties and yeah. when I was fifteen. And I've been doing this since I was fifteen. So that was probably a bad idea. You know what I was gonna say? I was gonna say like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything, everything out there was actually a bad idea. Now that I look at it, uh, uh, yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. I was gonna say in my twenties, I would bounce right back, and now that I'm in, I'm 34 years old. I've been I've been bumping in a ring since I was 16. I've been practically doing stuff like this that you watch like 20 years. So the fact that I feel as good as I do is yeah, like, I, is pretty crazy, right? I feel but, great actually. But somehow. we've we've had a lot of time off, yeah, and even in that yeah. time off. Everyone's like, hey, your body's probably healed right now. I'm like, no, like, it still hurts. 
It's like, you know, you just have, you're a pro wrestler, so you I feel like I've healed up quite a bit, though. Really? Yeah. Good for you. I have. Yeah. Jeez. I want to ask you guys, we're going to TV, I and mean, everybody is talking about, you know, now it's going to be AEW versus NXT on Wednesday nights. Mm. For you guys being behind the scenes and in the ring, does NXT run against AEW change your mindset, change your strategy, and how do you feel about it? I think, I, I don't think we should worry about what they're doing. I think we should just stay focused and tunnel vision on, on what we want AEW to be. Because like as soon as you start thinking about what they're doing, you're worrying too much. Maybe maybe our originality changes, our creativity changes. Like we we've, we've had a goal since the, since day one, since we started this. And we knew they were gonna counter. We knew that. Man. We weren't. Even, that was not a surprise. Yeah. We we were just waiting for it. No, we knew. We and were just waiting. So it didn't catch us off guard. So like I, I I think to answer your question, I think our goal's always been the same, and it, it's gonna continue to be the same. Have you heard from anybody on that side of things? Like it, it's exciting. Uh, we, we have friends every, everywhere all over the business, and they're just as excited as, as us. And I'm rooting for them, and they're rooting for us. It's great for the business. So I, I, I love, everyone wants to call this a war, because it, it's probably r more romantic, and, and it's more exciting that it looks like a war. You know what I mean? But I got friends there, and I want them to do well. And, and they all know that I help put more money in their pockets, so they're thanking me, too. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I guess it's good for everybody. This is it's the healthiest. For, it's good for the wrestling business. Yes. People are going to be talking on Wednesday. This is the healthiest the wrestling economy has been in years. This is a new boom we're going through. And if people try to say that we haven't helped that, then come on. So I think everybody's truly happy. You mentioned the Amazon bubble room earlier. Do you have any time or date you think you guys will hit New York City? Yeah, we're planning on it. I can't give it away yet. Yeah, yeah we're planning. <laughs> we're going to hit. I, every, every time we, we announce this city, everyone gets so pissed at us. They're like, well, you're just never going to come to New York? I'm like, we, guys, we have like 52 shows that we need to do. You're going to be okay. We're, we're going to hit every major market. We're going to hit them all. Just please be patient. We're coming. Does, does that include international markets like the UK? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yes. Matt, were you surprised by the booze when you took off Penta's mask? No, that was great. I love it. <laughs> like, you know. Let's get him next. Oh, can I? Okay. I was going to say, like, I think. The fact that we can kind of do stuff like that keeps us edgy and keeps us cool. Because if we ride one way, we're just true white meat babe pace, the fans are going to boo us anyway. So like, if you do that, though, you, you at least seem like you, you're, you're playing both sides, right? And we've been doing this our entire career. So like, Nick, Nick even told me, he's like, if you do that, it's going to get booed. I said, yeah, let's, let's do it. We, yeah, I like that. How about the reaction we came out with these masks was just like shock and laughter. You know what I mean? But if anybody can get away with it, it's us. So like, it, we made we built a career off of uh, doing really stupid things. Right here. Go ahead, buddy. One of you, I saw on the replay. You, whenever Pentagon or anything like that, you tried to like throw it at the Great description too. <laughs> great detail. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I almost died. <laughs> and uh, you know what? Uh, we, I said a prayer before the match, and it was a it was a longer prayer than normal. And uh, I'd like to think that my faith helped me. So let's hope that was the case. When I was watching it, I was just terrified. Whenever yeah, you see, it. especially because he's my baby brother. It's like God, I hope he's okay. And I know when he's okay because I can see it in his eyes. Because we've been doing this for so long. So like. Uh, I got the look and I said, okay, so he's okay. I was okay, but I was, yeah. Well, he was, he was alive and not named. <laughs> yeah. You guys, are, you guys are, can we have one more question, please? You guys are heading into a weekly show. You just talked about how it can take you up to a week to recover. Yeah. Is there a plan to cycle in wrestlers on oh, the yeah. roster? Sure. Yeah. We, we, we got a big we roster. We have a huge roster and it's going to be Im impossible to book every single on, on 90 guy minutes of content. Yeah, 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 90 minutes, so it's impossible. So. And, but here's, here's the thing too though, television sounds a lot different than what you just saw out there, right? Like, it, we get 90 minutes, not every match or some matches are 20, 30 minutes, there's just no way. So like, I don't think they're expecting us to have that ladder match on every week, you know what I mean? Like, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be TV style, which is, seems a little bit safer and shorter. Uh, you know, and then every, right now we're, we're planning on doing, I don't know, quarterly pay-per-views, maybe a little bit more than that. That's when we'll really turn it up and you'll see the blood and the guts and all the, the cool stuff in the blow <laughs> off. And, and uh, but yeah, I, I, we, we have a pretty good idea about, you know, switching talent in and out and, and trying to let everybody get a, a shot. Thank you very much. Thank cool. you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.